Hello everybody, this is Fuse Stopper, and welcome back to more Shovel Knight Spectre of Torment. Where finally, we go after the big baddie in charge. Now, first things first. We got the usual. Make sure you jump, slash, do whatever. Open up this pathway. Now, there's one item that's really good for this area. The barrier. They can do nothing to you. Something that was a problem in every other campaign, and heck, is a pain in this one, is nothing if you have this. So if this isn't reason enough for you to go after the Red Skulls to get those curios, then I don't know what would be. Now, just like the other campaigns, we got this annoying room right here. So this level is generally just going to be a platforming challenge, just like the other campaigns, with very minimal enemies. Heck, I think none. Just like the others. There's a secret to the left. Where you find... Almost death. Find a health recovery. Two red skulls. Some darkness. And a little bit of money. So, forwarding on. Being careful where we are. I mean, you don't want to die right before the boss. Yes, this room's a dick. They throw a gap right here before the final elevator. Like, that, that has caught me so many times because you think you could just run forward like the other campaigns. But no, they get you. Now, once you're up here, I believe you should be safe. Yes, you are safe up here. Don't forget to grab the checkpoint. And some last minute darkness. Let's get ready for the final duel. Oh, it's you. Have you come all this way to report your progress? Where is my eighth knight? None of that matters anymore. Prepare to face your demise, shield knight. Your treachery ends here. My treachery? I granted you new life, but now you intend to take mine? Perhaps showing you mercy was a mistake. One I will not repeat. Yep, seems like we get the final showdown with Enchantress. No mercy from her this time. Now, just like every other boss in this game, she's gotten a revamp. So now instead of having... Well, I'm sure I'm going to get proven wrong at a moment's notice. But instead of having platforms below you that are just pre-built, she'll build platforms for you to come up and attack her with. However, because of this, she can now go below the ground and you have no way of fighting her. Do not use your, your like, teleportation gem. You know the one. Don't use that on her because, to my knowledge, that will bring you down to with her on her level, making it nearly impossible to get back up. Long story short, you just gotta play the waiting game. Now let's see... Get back up here, witch. Now, that teleportation gem that I was just using there. That I said not to use it when she's down below. Use it as much as you can up here, though, because that will bring you right next to her. It's honestly... I didn't use it much during this campaign, but it's honestly the best boss fighting item. Because it will just bring you right to the boss. Especially flying bosses like this. And heck, Propeller Knight, but I didn't use them there. Because you didn't really need to. But with a few short blows, the Enchantress is done. Oh ho ho ho, weakling. Rize, my child, come to me. Yes, my queen? Spectre Knight has lost faith in our power. Let us show him your perfect self. Release Rize. Haven't you done enough? I'd give anything to serve you. Do with me what you will. My child, drink deep of the darkness. Reveal your full potential. And similar to the other campaigns, each one's got a unique final boss. This one being Dark Rise. Well, his full power form. 
Now, instead of just attacking him like the other campaign, you have to grind using this campaign's honestly best new feature to catch up to him and avoid dying. Because eventually, he'll try to zoom in on, in on you, which you can either attack or jump over. He'll produce gaps in the rails, which that's not fun. Basically, getting killed by him isn't a problem. It's the gaps in the rail that are probably going to cause you the most death. But also keep in mind, you should be healing pretty often, because he's still a final boss. He's still going to do damage. And it's still going to hurt. I mean, duh. But you could also use him to jump over the gap, so don't feel like... Don't feel like if you missed one of those lanterns that you're completely done for. But as you can tell here, he's also releasing fire darkness energy mabobs onto the rails itself, making it so you can't just grind up to him. You gotta, you gotta be jumping. Basically, it's like as much of a platformer boss as this treasure trove is gonna get. Now near the end here, he's gonna cut all the rails for a second. Really, for long periods of time, there's going to be no rails, but fairly simple boss, albeit very epic. Stay back! You've taken all that I have. I will not serve you a moment longer. Fair enough. Rize has proven a loyal servant. He'll be the perfect final knight of the Order of No Quarter. No! Leave him! I will serve as your eighth knight! Take me instead! Oh! Now you are ready to bow before my might! I... I am yours to command, but first, the final act of my own volition. Rize has played his part well. With the power of the locket squandered on this whelp, your life is forfeit. Now, you belong to me. <coughs> the, the Donovan. Henceforth and forever, you will serve me in the lich yard. A fitting post, don't you think? <laughs> Pride more keep, King Knight. The golden rain begins. Trouble Pond. The fruit of redemption. The Lichyard. Specter Knight. Overrun with the undead. Iron Whale. Treasure Knight. Payday. Flying Machine, Propeller Knight. The Fleet Takes Flight. Explodatorium, Plague Knight. Huh? 
bubbling chemistry. Lost City, Mull Knight. Letting off some steam. Armor Outpost. Vanquishing the Valorous. Clockwork Tower, Tinker Knight. Automated assembly. Stranded ship, polar night. Tending to the wounded. Village. In safe hands at last. Tower of Fate. There's no hope of stopping her. The Order of No Quarter will sweep through the land without mercy. She's too strong. The strength of her former self gives me hope she can be reached. A fool's Aaron. She will destroy you as she did me and show no remorse. I have no choice but to serve. I am now bound to her, perhaps forever. Then maybe we shall cross paths again. Keep her safe, Donovan. Dark times await us all. And that was Shovel Knight, Spectre of Torment. I All I gotta say about it right now is that when this came out, it is the best campaign that was out there. I mean, you go Shovel Knight, like, that's kickstarted the whole thing. That was huge. And you got Plague Knight. Still pretty fun. Not as bad as people say it is, but still generally the worst campaign. And you think, man, all the other campaigns are going to be like Plague Knight, where it's just the same levels, but you get to play as a different character. But no, this one was special. It was unique. It made new levels specifically made for Spectre Knight for his abilities. And even with that, the abilities that Spectre Knight had were so much easier to control than Plague Knight. Like, what else is there to say? Spectre Knight is just a campaign that Plague Knight could have been. So, although it's sad that Plague Knight's campaign was a little unfortunate, at least we got this really, really cool Spectre Knight campaign. The darker story, the tighter platforming, Heck, the cool ability to just slash into enemies, like, that is one of the best abilities in this game. All that was in the Spectre Knight campaign. And you know what? I'm making it sound like this is the end. Which, it isn't, because we still got another campaign. But before we head off to that, we do got a few more things we gotta show. Some things I'd promise in a bonus video. And what about those red skulls? What do we get for collecting all hundred? Welp, find out next time when we return back to Spectre Knight. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. See you all next time.
Your boy is a handful, Luan, but he will be safe. That's a promise I can keep now. Well, one last Rivera. Ha ha ha! You simply made off with his boots? Incredible! That's one way to make a grand escape. I was reckless in my youth, much like my own son. Brash, naive. It's a wonder I lived to tell such tales. Nonsense! We two shall prosper for a hundred years, and your boy takes after his father. He... he does, Donovan. I've been meaning to give you something. Is this a locket? I worry about him, Donovan. He's grown so fast. If fate should claim me before my time, he'll have no one to protect him from his own flights of fancy. This is an old family keepsake. You are family to me, and I would hope you'd be family to Rize. Luan, I would lay down my life to save his. I promise. <laughs>